how are you using telemedicine when it comes to stroke? Well, so actually Dr. Marondo is a, a key player in this because way back before COVID, way back before Zoom, um, we partnered with an organization that did telemedicine um, in different places of the world. And I looked at that and I was like, wow, why can't we put that inside our rescue units and for stroke patients? Because down in the Florida Keys, uh, if, unfortunately they're community hospitals, but they can't handle stroke patients. So we were flying everybody directly out to UM. And time is brain, as you know. And so, you know, flying them clear cut across the county, um, then they get to the ER. Now the stroke fellows or the stroke neurologists have to evaluate them. Even though the medics already did it, they still had to do it. Um, so we started looking at how can we use this thing called telemedicine, have the neurologist look at the patient. And she was actually a fellow back then and she actually got her whole entire team to adopt this and we actually did several iterations of telemedicine um, where now it's just an iPad we have it in different rescue trucks all throughout the county and the, the, the stroke fellows or the stroke nurse in charge is able to perform that exam on the patient which is vital uh, to reduce the time when they come in through the ER and they go right to CT.